Recently, you may have heard some exciting news about updates to the Microsoft Donation Program through TechSoup Global. This video is a part of a series of short videos from TechSoup designed to help you further understand these updates. The Microsoft Software Donation Program for U.S. nonprofits and public libraries is one of TechSoup's most popular resources. Microsoft has made several updates to its donation program to make it easier for organizations to access the software donations they need when they need them. Let's take a look at some of the changes to requests and allotment cycles. One change to the Microsoft donation program deals with donation allotment cycles. As a result of the program updates, an organization's first donation request after July 27, 2011 initiates the beginning of a two-year cycle. This first cycle then sets the organization's reoccurring cycle schedule thereafter. For example, if your organization makes a donation request on September 1, 2011, your new cycle schedule will begin on that date and will end on August 31, 2013. The next cycle will begin on September 1, 2013. Another change to the Microsoft Donation Program deals with the number of requests. After July 27, 2011, there is no limit to the amount of times an organization can make a Microsoft Donation request within the two-year cycle as long as they have not used up their full donations allotment. Server requests are also affected. Before July 27, 2011, organizations could request one server license per server title. As a result of the program updates, after July 27, 2011, organizations may request a maximum of five server products, regardless of title group. Please note that Client Access Licenses, or CALs, do not count as a server product, as they are part of their own title group. For example, this means that an organization could request five Windows Server licenses or they could request two Windows Server licenses, two Exchange Server licenses, and one SQL Server license. Another change to the Microsoft Donation Program deals with license minimums per request. Now, as a result of the program updates on July 27, 2011, there is no minimum number of licenses required per donation request. This allows your organization to request licenses when they are needed. To find out more information on the Microsoft Donation Program through TechSoup, take a look at Your Guide to Microsoft Donations through TechSoup at bit.ly forward slash Microsoft Donations Guide. This guide will help walk you through the ins and outs of the Microsoft Donation Program. Wondering if your organization is eligible to receive Microsoft software donations? A good place to start is the TechSoup Eligibility Quiz. First, go to TechSoup.org. If you are registered with TechSoup, log in first using the Login button on the upper left part of the screen. The Eligibility Quiz can be found by clicking check eligibility on the left hand side of the screen. Thank you for viewing this video. For more questions about the Microsoft Donation Program, please contact Client Services at bit.ly forward slash TSG Client Services.